words can have <laughs> a huge impact on people, I think. I mean, we've all heard of the saying like, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And as you grow up, you learn that's not true. I can remember times in which people have said things without intending to that were really just a part of their everyday vernacular that, uh, that really took the wind out of my sails. The words themselves will stick with you and probably have the lasting impact. I think we underestimate the true impact of our words, especially because we only live from our own viewpoint, really. And we never really see the value that our words might have on another person's point of view and their history and their identity. I think inclusive language to me is a way to hear everybody's voices, first of all. It meets the needs of the people involved. Really trying to be intentional about um, engaging others in the language I use and not using language that others, other people. Words really provide a way into community and also can, again, be ways of excluding. I don't consciously do it, but I'll say, you guys, or we should do something together, guys. And I don't even consciously, like usually I'm addressing a group of all girls. When I first came to the state, I heard this expression a lot, and I could not understand why people were addressing me. Well, a bunch of women, for example, a group of women, uh, with you guys. You know, I'd joke around with my friends, like, don't be a wuss, you know, don't be a girl, come on, just do this. And then, like, I never really took the time to think about, like, what that meant and how loaded that, like, phrase was. I make jokes a lot about, oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself if this happens. Oh my god, I am gonna commit suicide, blah, 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 blah. Um, or, like, you know, when people say things like, oh my god, you're so OCD, this is, the weather is so bipolar, um, and just throwing these terms around as if they don't mean anything. The word gay was always thrown around, like, oh, that's so gay, oh, you're so gay, you know, as more of an insult. Um, coming to college, you know, particularly this college, I was made more aware of how that um, does affect people. I've been confused about what correct term to use, particularly in racial context, often mistakenly using it and then feeling really, really horrible about um, offending somebody and not wanting to do that, but also not quite sure how to ask. Mistakes are okay. I think as long as we are not shaming others when they make a mistake and we're not shaming ourselves when we make a mistake and it's just being open about that learning process and be courageous enough and to be waiting to engage in that relationship and have those meaningful dialogues. More than words. Your voice, your choice. Whether or not we understand the power of our words, we still use them. So what kind of impact do you want to make?